Welcome to Angel Health Academy. Subject Community Health Nursing 1. Topic for the day is differentiate between rates and ratios. So, as part of the exam point of view, today I would like to talk about the difference between rates and ratios. This question can also be asked as a short note. So, you can utilize this content of the topic is both for short notes and even for differentiate between rates and ratios. So, first one is meaning of rate and ratio. Both rate and ratio is the concept or element in mathematics or application of mathematics. In community health nursing, we are applying this or using this both rate, ratio or proportions etc. as tool for measurement in epidemiology in the unit of epidemiology. So, both rate and ratio is used, uh, used for measurement in epidemiology that is which is used to express or indicate or reveal the disease magnitude or significance of the disease among the populations. So, thus, in short, rate and ratio is a tool for measurement in both in epidemiology and in community nursing, we are also applying uh, the concept of both rate and ratio even in demography. So, as a mathematical point of view, a rate is a comparison of two quantities which can have different units. So, a rate is a comparison of two different quantities which can have different units. Whereas, a ratio is also is a comparison of two numbers. A ratio is a comparison of two numbers and it is a result of dividing one quantity by another. So, ratio means it is actually dividing one number, one quantity by another number. Thus, it is expressed in the form of either x raised to y with the colon or x divided by y. That is in mathematical application, ratio is the uh, result of dividing one quantity by another quantity that is x divided by y. Then next is the definition of rate and ratio. So, in the concept of community health nursing, the definition of rate is a rate measures the occurrence of some particular event, especially a disease in a population during a given time period. So, in epidemiology or in demography, a rate measures the occurrence of some particular event in a population or among the population during a given time period. For example, during one year. So, example of that particular event may be births, deaths, disease, etc. So, a rate measures the occurrence of some particular event in a population or among the population during a given time period or time frame. Whereas, a ratio is a measure of events which expresses a relation in size between two different factors or quantities occurring in the population. So, a ratio is also a measure of events or occurrence which expresses a relation in size, difference in size between two different factors or occurrence occurring in the or among the populations. Thus, ratio expresses a relation in a size between two random numbers or quantities or two random number quantities. So, these are the definition of rate and ratio. The third difference is related to elements. A rate comprises the following elements. So, there are mainly four elements in relation to rate in application of mathematics. But ratio we have only two elements. So, the elements of rates include numerator, denominator, time specification and multiplier. So, numerator nothing but number of time an event or an incident occurred. Number of time an event or incident occurred. Denominator is the or it is related to population or total events, total occurrence. Then third element is time specification. It is usually a calendar year, one year. Then the fourth element is multiplier. Commonly multiplied with 1000 or even 100, 1 lakh etc. can be used for the uh, multiplier. For example, crude birth rate. So to find out the crude birth rate, we have a formula that is total number of live births during the year into 1000 divided by estimated mid-year population. Here, numerator is total number of libels. So, we have to find out the what are the total number of libels. Then, denominator is the from estimated mid-year population of the village or from that community. Estimated mid-year population is the denominator. Then, third one is time specification here. Libers during the year. During the year means calendar year. The time specification is one year. For example, during 2023. Then multiplier year we are used 1000. So total number of libers during the year into 1000 divided by estimated mid-year populations. 
So elements of rate includes numerator, then denominator, then time specification, usually a calendar year, one year, and a common multiplier. Whereas in ratio we have only numerator and denominator, that is x or y. But the numerator is not a component of the denominator. Here in the rate, the uh, denominator is the Actually, it is the component of the numerator, but in ratio, it is not. It, it is different. The numerator is a, not a component of the part of the denominator. The fourth feature is examples for rate and ratio. So, example for rate is mortality rate. That means death rate. Morbidity rate. That is occurrence of disease in, among the population. Morbidity rate, birth rate, etc. All are the examples of rate. Then example for ratio is doctor population ratio. How many doctors for a particular number of population in the community? Doctor patient ratio or nurse patient ratio. How many nurses or community health nurse for the uh, particular group of patient or one for how many? Then fifth feature is the categories of rate. So there are various categories of rate such as crude rate that is total rates specific rate we are finding out the rates from the specific age group so specific rates standardized rates etc so in case of rate we have a specific category such as crude rates specific rates standardized rates, standardized rates etc whereas in ratio there is no specific categories of ratio we are applied in general that is ratio the sixth feature is demographic rates. So I have already explained in the uh, beginning session that is both rate and ratio we are applying in demography and uh, epidemiology. So we have uh, some specific demographic rates such as crude birth rate CBR, crude death rate that is CDR, total fertility rate that is TFR, growth rate, general growth rate among the population, then net reproduction rate that is NRR, net reproduction rate, Couple protection rate that is CPR, etc. So these are the demographic rates we are studying in the community health nursing. Then in relation to demographic ratio such as sex ratio, that is male-female ratio. How many males for thousand females? Then dependency ratio, child women ratio, pregnancy ratio, abortion ratio. So demographic ratios includes sex ratio, dependency ratio, child women ratio, pregnancy ratio, then abortion ratio, etc. So, so far we have discussed about the difference between rates and ratio. So, thanks for watching. Hope this video really benefits in your study purpose and exam purpose. If you feel it is really worth and beneficial, please like, share and subscribe my channel. And stay tuned with Angel Health Academy for the next academic video. Thank you.